In this video, we're going to look at how to enter your quotes. The quote assembly is the one assembly that works a little different than the rest. You select items from the drop-down list that you will be receiving prices for, and then select the vendors that you would like to get prices from, and then simply enter the quotes when you receive them. The best bid will select the lowest quote and enter it into your estimate. Let's see how that works. Start by clicking the Quotes button. And as always, we start by selecting the new icon to create a new record. It will automatically open to the Quote Items tab. Now select the green link button, and this opens up your items to be quoted. You can select all of the items by holding down the Control key. Make your selections and then select OK. Next, move to Vendors. Again, select the green link button, and choose the vendors from the list that you want to receive quotes from. And select OK. Select the Save icon, and this will add more tabs to the toolbar. Now select Pricing. And just enter the prices when you receive them from your selected vendors. The best bid will automatically select the lowest price and enter it into the estimate. Now select Save. Select the Winners tab and the low bidders will be shown. You can select items not quoted to make sure you have all of the bids included. Nothing is shown, so all bids have been entered into the estimate. To review, go to the control panel, select Worksheet, and here you can review your quote costs. And you also have the ability to add additional markups to the quoted prices. This could be extra profit, taxes, etc. These labels overhead and markup are just placeholders and can be changed to any value you desire. We have added 10% in this example. You can go to the summary page to review your results. it's important to understand where your numbers go. That is the end of how to enter quotes into your estimates. Now let's review how to add additional items to your vendors and quoted items. Just select New from the Items box and add in your desired item and then select OK. This is an easy way to add new items project by project, but to add items permanently to your default dropdowns, go to Admin, then Master Files, the quoted items, and select New. Type in the item and select Save and Close. Now the item we added is permanently in your defaults. Some general notes about quotes. The best bid does not add tax to your quoted items. You should either add tax to the prices before you enter them or add the tax when you review the worksheet in one of the two spots that we addressed earlier, overhead or markup. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video.